Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. It is Bloodmas Day 6. This is compare yourself to yourself and not others. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. I am Blue. I'm a medical coder. I am doing Vlogmas this year and the theme of my Vlogmas for the 24 days is going to be about motivation. I hope that all of my chats about motivation and inspiration will help inspire you in your goals. So let's begin. All right. And compare yourself to yourself, not to others. What do I mean by this? <laughs> when we start to think about others in our field or others in our class and we start to say, well, this person is doing really good and I'm studying and I just don't know what I'm doing wrong and this other person's doing this and, you know, I, I'm, I, I know I'm as good as them, but why are they grasping it quicker than I am? It's not about a competition of you are not doing as good as somebody else or somebody else is doing better than you. There's always going to be somebody that is going to be better than you. That you have to get out of the way, right? You have to understand that first and foremost. You have to compare yourself to yourself. Look at all the things that you have done in your past and look at what you, where you're at now. If you have made significant strides, right, over the past year, and let's just say you've been in school and you started off in the beginning not really knowing or understanding anything about the field, and now all of a sudden you have so much more knowledge. Your knowledge base is a lot more. You have medical terminology, anatomy and physio, and you're starting to learn about the coding itself, and you're starting to learn about HIPAA, and you're starting to learn about all these other things. That's growth. So you should always be proud of yourself for growing. It is when you start to compare yourself to others that that can lead to feelings of jealousy. And when you have feelings of jealousy, that is a useless emotion because it does no good to anyone in your personal life or your professional life. So I always recommend to you guys to be proud of the things that you have done. And even if no one is telling you, hey, I'm proud of you, um, you're doing great. Maybe you don't have a good um, uh, support circle around you. And I know that that's the case for a lot of people. That's okay. Rely on yourself to be proud of you. And you can do that. It's not being full of yourself. It's not, you know, thinking, oh, well, you're better than everybody else. It's not thinking that. It is giving credit where credit is due. Everybody on their road to goals or to bettering themselves is going to feel this, I don't know how to say, how would I say, they're going to feel this need to say, well, I know I studied more than this other person, but this other, no, no, no. It's about you and about your path because your path and other people's paths are going to be completely different. You don't know what that other person is going through and you don't know why um, they are perhaps doing better than you. It could be because they're grasping the material better. They perhaps have a better teacher or maybe they're just putting in the time. If, they're, if you know they're putting in the time, there is really nothing to be jealous of because then you need to be putting in the time, right? So again, comparing yourself to yourself and being proud of the things that you've done will help you to get that energy to keep going and that motivation to keep moving forward. Because when you start to compare yourself to others, it is really quick to bring yourself down and be like, well, maybe I'm not as good as the other people. And, you know, maybe I shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that. Well, think about all the like the people in Instagram, right? They're all, you see them, they're Insta famous <laughs> and they've got these beautiful pictures and they're like, well, you know, I have so many thousands of, of um, not, sub what is it? Subscribers, I guess, uh, followers, <laughs> subscribers, <laughs> followers. I have so many millions and thousands of followers, you know, but what about this other person? And, and, com and they're just sort of comparing themselves. You can't compare yourself. You don't know what their journey is and you don't know what they're doing to to do those things. I don't compare myself to anybody else. I look at myself <laughs> and I look at the things that I want to do and my goals because comparing myself to anybody else is useless. It will never help me. It will never benefit me. So when you think about those things, right? And you then you start to be able to focus your energy on where you need to focus your energy, which is 
I know I have this goal. I know I'm doing this. I know I'm doing that. And along the way, (laughs) I'm going to give a hand up to those who need it, or I'm going to give motivation to those who need it because that is the right thing to do. And it is the thing that I am always going to be shooting for, right? Because when, at the end of the day, it's not about, well, I'm going to compare myself to this person, this person, this person, and oh, this person's got a whole alphabet after their name. I don't know what that person's going through to have that alphabet after their name. All I know is that I have only one credential and I know I'm intelligent and I know I grasp the material well and I know that I help lots of people. I know I'm responsible for the growth and the, um, the, the revenue of so many clinics that have done well because of me. So I don't need to compare myself to anybody else. I'm concentrating on my skills and my skill set and to always increase my skill set so that I can help others. That's what I do. And that's why there is no uh, comparing yourself. At least I don't compare myself. And I want to encourage you guys to do the same thing today. Because when you compare yourself to others and you start to feel those feelings of jealousy, it does no good. And then you'll see those people in Facebook medical coding groups comparing themselves to each other, like comparing themselves to this person, that person, this person. No, it does no good. Think about who you're surrounding yourself with, which goes back to what I was talking about a couple days ago. (laughs) Uh, Think about who you're surrounding yourself with and get positive people around you. You know, you want to be able to be clear headed enough to stay focused on your goals, because trust me, it doesn't take a lot to get deterred from your goals because we have that little internal (laughs) voice inside of our head that starts to give us that self doubt. But then we can quiet that voice by being strong and being determined with what we want to do in our own lives and the benefits that can come from staying focused and being uh, disciplined enough to stay focused will reap rewards for years because having that same discipline and doing those things like you should is going to keep you from saying, oh, I'm going to compare myself to this person, that person, because you don't have time to be doing that. You only have time to be focused on the things that you're doing. So that is just something to keep in mind. And when you start to feel those feelings of, well, what about this? You never know what that other person is going through. And that's the thing that you should always think about. You never know what somebody else is going through because what they learn on their path is going to be different from what you learn on your path, which again is the reason why you don't ever compare yourself to other people. It's a waste of time to compare yourself to others. You can emulate people that inspire you, but at the end of the day, you have to walk your own path. You can pick up the good traits that they have and do those things as a, as a marker, right? As a trail marker of where you need to be getting that discipline and, and making yourself go that extra mile doing those things. And that way, you know, okay, well, This is the path. This is going to lead me to success. But you never compare yourself to anybody else. Because again, that is going to be a useless emotion. It's not going to do anything else but start to bog you down. When you should be thankful for for the path that you've gone. And as far as the progress that you've made, think about all the progress that you've made over time. You know, some people start with a high school diploma or GED. And they decide they want to get into this field. And then they they do this. They get into medical coding. (laughs) And they just, they take off from there. They really enjoy it. They enjoy what they do, like me. And it's all about keeping that focus, keeping that drive. And I don't, like I said, I don't compare anybody. I don't compare myself to anybody. Because I know at the end of the day that everything that I do, is because it's what it's going towards what I want. That is that is everything. It's not having anything to do with the fact that oh so and so has this or so and so has that. Because at the end of the day you can do whatever it is that you want to do. You just have to put your mind to it and you have to make that a plan. Because without a plan, you're just basically drifting out into the ocean with no clear destination, no clear direction. And you have to have some direction in order to know where you're going. 
And that's the best way to be able to do anything in life is to have some kind of direction with where you're going. So that's the message for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will see y'all again tomorrow. Bye.